going on what are all these people doing <laughs> don't worry you're watching the right program this program is about ideas it's about how people visualize things in their imagination and how they are brought to reality some people call it imagineering the point is that everything you will see going on around you here cannot be achieved without the aid of design skills of many types and some very new technology. A true craftsman expresses himself in his work. Let me introduce Mike Mansfield, the one with his back to us. He's a craftsman, a television craftsman, if you like, who earns his living making television programs. To many people, it looks all too easy, but few realize just how much craft and technology goes into it. The making of one simple scene needs patience, imagination, planning, and cooperation. Not always found in other industries these days. It doesn't all happen on the spur of the moment. It's taken a lot of hard thinking to come up with the right ideas. And it's because everyone here is highly trained that through their work, Mike Mansfield, the director, can pass on his thoughts to those that have eyes to see and appreciate what he's doing. Do we start on Marcel? Yes. Right, stand by then, absolutely quiet. Quiet, everybody. In other words, the audience. And that means you. All these people here and all this equipment didn't just happen to be here by accident. They're here to turn imagination into a reality. There's not much point in having imagination if it can't be expressed. And that's where visualization comes into it. To express a vision or an idea, you have to plan. And that means design. You have to make a set of decisions, 
that will start a process that will achieve the result you want. So even comedy seems like pretending to be Nero and taking poison, or climbing up a staircase to an imaginary heaven, need organizing. How does it all start? Whose idea is it anyway? Who makes all the decisions? The decisions start here, at an office somewhere in London. The first decision was made by the manager of the singer Marcel. He decided that a video program should be made of the song called I've Been a Bad, Bad Boy. At this first meeting, the ideas are brought out and the designers start work on them. And most likely, the first tool that's used to express the imagination is a pencil. We need some steps. need some room to put some angels as well. It often takes hours of thought and discussion. And the but the important the thing is, there is a definite job to be done. And to do it, there must be designing and making. Robin Don is the designer. And his job is to help Mike Mansfield visualize and make real the ideas. The other people around the table are the manager of the singer Marcel and the manager of the record company. Everyone here has some influence on the final result and on the decisions made to reach that result. How big will the scenery need to be? How high will the steps be from the floor? What will the steps be made of? And will they have to be transported in pieces and assembled in the studio? How many people will be needed to put them up? What will they look like? And will they bear the weight of St. Peter, two angels and Marcel? Seven foot. Six, seven foot six to that platform, I should think, yes. Fifteen foot would be high enough for you, do you think, Mike? Yes, I think so, yes. And the camera would be right down here, shooting very, very low. To answer some of these questions, the designer makes a model, and that's certainly a help for everyone. By now, everyone begins to understand what needs to be done, what tools and materials are required. More people with various skills will become involved. Carpenters, painters, electricians, costume makers, and makeup artists. The director who is responsible for the end result has by now a pretty clear idea how it's going to look on the screen. Soon this great room will be transformed into a studio where all the ideas and designs become real. It's a little difficult to imagine the gates of heaven in here but that's the designer's job. He has made drawings of what he thinks the picture should look like. These drawings are very detailed and show both the plans and what are called the elevations of the set. It's these plans and drawings which will give the craftsmen who are making the scenery the exact measurements as well as all the necessary materials to build it. Making everything clear is very important work needing great accuracy so that everything fits and nothing is wasted. Many of you will have seen one of these before. The television camera these days is a good example of applied technology which has brought high quality pictures and likeness. It is one of the signs of modern technology that everything is getting smaller. It took two men to lift this camera 30 years ago and because it was so heavy, it could only be operated on a strong mount. Now, because the camera is smaller, it can really get into the middle of the action, and that's more exciting for the audience. Already, you're beginning to visualize the scene. This is what the videotape engineer sees on his TV screen, and of course, you're watching me on another camera, which has been making our program. In the shooting today, the director will use only one camera, taking many shots and collecting them together and joining them at the end. That process is called editing, and that's a craft too, but more about that in a moment. Well, the sound engineer is getting ready to play the music, and Marcel has arrived to get ready for his first scene. 
Remember, what you have been watching so far is craft and design working together. But in this case, the word craft can be taken to mean skill. All this scenery has been built by people who are very skillful and a bit crafty too. The scene which is being made has been created by skillful people. Carpenters, electricians, lighting designers who create the right effect that the scene needs and many others. Makeup is a craft too, needing a long training in beauty technique, in light, colour, history and care of the skin. You have to be interested in art and the theatre and good at hairdressing too. But most of all, you have to get on well with people because it takes all sorts. As soon as all the scenes have been recorded, Mike Mansfield starts work with a videotape editor. Videotape editing basically means joining together the shots that were taken in the studio. Modern technology, though, has added a great deal. For instance, when going from one scene into another, you don't have to cut one end of the tape and stick it onto the next. It's all done electronically and can be rehearsed or repeated without ever having to cut the magnetic tape or destroying the original scene in any way. The room that Vilma's in is called the editing suite or control room. Where I am now is where the tape machines are kept. On this machine is the scene of Marcel coming up to heaven. On this machine is the scene before. And there's another machine on which the final tape will be made. These machines are controlled from the editing room and the exact moment to switch on and transfer the scene from one tape to another can be set to within a 25th of a second by a computer. Mike Mansfield and his editor will now make an edit with some extra special effects. And go very, very slow. Slowly and fast. Can you just show me some wipes? Right, I need... I need to get from the death scene to the heaven scene. So let's have a look at some different wipes. That's too hard, I think. Let's just try this one. No, that's... Well, that's quite good. It looks a bit they're going up to heaven, doesn't it? Let's try another one. Let's try another one. No, that looks as if they're going down to heaven. That's no good. Let's try this one. Can we see that slowly? That's quite nice, but not right. Try that. No, that looks as if they're going up to the stars. That's no good. Try, try this one. What you are watching is controlling by technology. All these recording machines are under the control of the editor upstairs. And with this equipment, he can use his imagination, try out new ideas to see if they work, and then record it exactly as he wants it. He can even change it all afterwards if he wants to. It may take up to two days to put together three minutes of television, especially if there are many special effects like the ones we've just seen. When the final tape is finished, it's called the master. This master tape is then put onto a machine which is connected to all these machines. You've probably seen some of these in school or in your local TV rental shop. Each one of these will make a copy of the final tape of Marcel singing, I've been a bad, bad boy. This master tape can be used to make thousands of copies, which can be seen on home video machines all over the world. Or special transmission copies can be made and sent to television stations. You might even see it on Top of the Pops.
But none of this would have been possible without craft, design, and technology of the sort that didn't exist before 1960. Lots of it. And vision. Aren't we lucky? <laughs> And that's the end of our programmes for schools and colleges for this week. They return again on Monday morning at 9.30. Our programmes for this morning on Anglian continue in a moment with a handful of songs, and that's followed at 10 past 12 by Once Upon a Time, and at 12.30 a better read looks at pop music books. After the news about Britain, at 1.30 profiles a champion, and Trevor Hyatt presents A Plus at 2. Well now, it's time for a handful of songs with Maria and Keith. We got a handful of songs to sing you Can't stop my voice when it longs to sing you New songs and blues songs and songs to bring you Happiness, no more, no less Hello everyone Hi there I see you're all ready for our first song What do you mean, ready? Well, the first song's all about gardening. Yes. And I was glad to see you've got your old togs on, ready for it. Old togs? Gardening? This happens to be my best suit. Oh. Goodness me. Yeah. I'd hate to see your old one, then. So that's your best suit, is it? Yes. Didn't they have it in your size? It's just my size. Well, I'm sure it'll be very nice when it's finished. 